Hey guys, welcome to another video and welcome to another video about the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard case. We're reaching the climax to the case. Johnny Depp just gave his final statement in and we're reaching a close to this trial that's been going on for weeks and weeks. Well, years if you can, you know, count to the other trial and stuff and years and years if you count the beginning of this uh, domestic abuse. Like, um... Johnny Depp has to be, win this case. Like, it is so going in his favor. Amber Heard has not shown a lick of evidence that Johnny Depp did a single thing to her, any abuse, nothing. Absolutely, she's everything she says is hearsay. Hearsay, hearsay. Everything she said is just her opinion, wh what she thinks is true and stuff. No evidence. She literally said Johnny Depp had a f rings on his fingers and he beat her face in seven times and her l tooth went through her lip. She shows the picture. She has a bruise on her arm. Her face is just fine. Where No medical records. No nothing. He beat you in the face. No medical records. No damage under your face. Oh, he grabbed you by the arm, though. I'm like, oh, how convenient. <laughs> Even like when she shows the the face, her face that was swollen, they adjust the lighting. It's perfectly fine. Clearly, the photo was tampered with to make it look like she was abused. No witnesses, no nothing, saw Johnny Depp be violent. To Amber Heard. No case. She has no case. And Johnny Depp's closing statement was heartbreaking. He's literally saying that his life has been ruined. He's not here to. Make a scene in front of everyone. He's he's here to air out everything. He has nothing to lose. He says that he is a man that has suffered through physical, domestic abuse from this monster. And she's been spouting lies and slander for so long and pleads victimhood. And he himself is the victim. And I feel like he feels it now that people believe him, finally believe him. Years ago, when Amber Heard came out with this story of abuse, everyone labeled Johnny Depp this monster, and Hollywood blacklisted him. People now are seeing the real truth. She's the monster. And I know like sources like Variety and Insider will stick by Amber Heard because they've been sticking by her since the beginning. But people know the truth. One person has evidence. One doesn't. And even the, the Kate Moss... Kate Moss came and testified. Amber Heard said that Johnny Depp, when he was with Kate Moss, he threw her down the stairs and abused her. She testifies, no, that did not happen. They were vacationing. They went to Jamaica. She was soaking wet. She slipped, fell down the stairs. Johnny Depp came to help her and got her the help. She went to the emergency room and got all fixed up. No abuse. She slipped and fell down the stairs. Johnny Depp did not push her. Another fucking lie by Miss Amber Heard. We've had also Johnny Depp's amazing lawyer, Camille, just rip Amber Heard apart between like with the psychologists and with the photos and everything she's presented, even with the charity. Amber Heard is claiming she never wanted a thing from Johnny Depp. She took $7 million. She said she was going to use that $7 million to deliver it to charity. Give it to charity. Camille's like, where's the where's the money? Where's the charity? She says, I pledged. She's like, you pledged, but you did not donate. A pledge is not a donation. And she's like, well, I'm planning on doing it. She's like, you've had years and you haven't donated anything. You want Johnny Depp's money. You want Johnny Depp's fandom. You want everything from him. And you say you don't want a goddamn thing from him. And she even talks about how Johnny Depp will not look Amber Heard in the eyes. And Amber Heard claims because he's an abuser. And he doesn't want to look at his victim in the eyes. But then we found out, no. There's recordings of Johnny Depp says he can't take her abuse anymore. And he will never look her in the eye. He'll, she will never see his eyes again. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's incredible. This case is just... It's... it's it's groundbreaking because it's showing that the whole point to this case is that 
You need to have all the evidence before you jump to the jump to conclusions. Amber Heard came out with the story of Johnny Depp being abused, and everybody believed her. Didn't care about what Johnny Depp said. Didn't matter if he was telling the truth or not. It did not matter. She said he abused her, period. But now it took years and years of craziness and drama and people being blacklisted to find out, no, she's the abuser. This case is showing that men can be abused. This case also shows there's more to than just someone's word. You got to look into it. You got to do your research. You have to look into things and not just believe what someone says. And it's incredible. It's incredible. I really hope Johnny De Johnny Depp is on the verge of winning this case. He has presented everything that he has, and he's given every bit of evidence that what Amber Heard sent him chopped his finger off, abused him manipulated everyone to think that he was the monster he has all these witnesses all these video recordings and all this showing how much of a monster amber heard is amber heard has nothing absolutely nothing this case is wrapping up i think johnny depp has the win and uh whether I don't know how this case will go. Whether it goes Amber Heard's way or not, I guarantee by the end of this case and years from now, we're not going to hear Amber Heard's name anymore. She's done. I think she's done. Even if she somehow miraculously wins this case, she's done. Everyone knows she did it. Like, everybody knows what she did. Everyone knows what a monster and a liar and manipulator she is. If people know. Whether the jury believes her or not, or believes Johnny Depp or not, people know the truth. She's a monster. She is done in Hollywood. And good. Good riddance. Fuck that bitch. Justice for Johnny Depp. <laughs> Love you, man. Join the dark side.